Hello everyone, Odd Tom here, and in this video I'm going to explain the music box route for collecting all 16 photos in one playthrough. This route takes advantage of a glitch that lets you dig infinite music boxes to maximize bachelorette affection. There's a tree in the far corner of your farm that holds a map with directions to an unspecified treasure. If you haven't cleared the farm yet, you can use this stomp to locate the spot, but it's the square where the doghouse intersects the tree. Till this spot 10 times to get a broken music box. Rick can repair it, but he requires 31 affection, which means gifting and talking to him for 5 days. If a fixed box is in your inventory, talking to a bachelorette will trigger a special dialogue if it's the first time you talk to her that day, adding 6 points of affection instead of the normal 1 for talking. If you already have one, or if an NPC is waiting for you by the house, the music box won't appear. If you till more than 10 times, you'll have to till another square to reset the counter, because the box is triggered at exactly 10, and it won't loop back until 2.55. It's possible to hold both a broken and a fixed music box at the same time, but if Rick fixes a broken box while you're already holding a fixed one, the glitch will corrupt and he will no longer offer to fix them. The bad news is Rick's schedule. His shop is only open 4 days a week, and it closes every time it rains. With his 50% chance to appear on Saturdays, it usually means finding him only 3-4 to four days per week. The music boxes are a great boost, but the key to successfully running this route is seeing them as a bonus rather than a reliance, and always have a backup plan. This tutorial is divided by event rather than by day because weather RNG makes each route unique, and you have to be ready for anything. Wow. The double. What? what? The route can be split into eight parts, each with its own set of challenges. In the beginning, our main goal is to earn enough money to afford a chicken. Eggs make quick, easy gifts, and selling a chicken is much faster than foraging. Before you can begin, the first hurdles are the naming screens. Hold B through the entire sequence to scroll the text faster. The first thing you want to do is put the scythe in the toolbox. The sequence here is A up A, right, A down down A. There's an unskippable cutscene with the mayor on your first day. To climb the town tour and tell a 3x3 square close to your house. I like this spot because it's straight down from where you gain control of Jack, but pick a spot that's comfortable for you. The dog likes to run off, so keep an eye on him and whistle with Seat Ride if he starts to run toward the left corner. When you're done, head to the crossroads and into the mountain. Grab an edible herb and a berry, and then talk to the fisherman. It's faster to decline his offer, but he gives you the fishing rod either way. Grab the flower and equip the rod, and then go fishing in the river. It's possible to catch one in the pond, but you'll only get a medium or a small fish, and we want a big one. I'll usually reset if I don't get a big fish by the 145 mark, but those are my own personal standards. When you do get it, pocket your fish and head to the flower shop in town. Buy a bag of potato seeds, and then equip them in a berry before you get back to the farm. Ellie should still be there, so talk to her twice and give her the flower. We can't gift villagers until after we clear the meat dialogue, so we have to talk to them at least once before gifting. You want to make a habit of equipping items before you get to the farm screen, because the load time is much slower there. Sell the berry, plant the potatoes, and then pick up the dog and bring him inside. The music box route depends on Rick, so this day is much shorter because he isn't open. However, by talking to Ellie today, we can carry one extra gift when we go into town tomorrow. Start the second day by whistling for and picking up the dog. Equip your axe and the fish you caught before going outside. Sell the fish and chop the stump near the top of your farm. Equip the watering can, sell the edible herb, and then head toward the small pond. Pick up a stone as you pass the corner, and then toss it in the pond before filling up the watering can. Get the treasure map from the tree and six lumber from the bin. Every time we pass this corner, we want to move one more stone, making our path a little shorter each time. Before you go to the mountains, water all nine plots of potatoes. Try not to miss more than one, or you'll get the tired animation later when you're chopping wood. Grab the flower by the carpenter's house and then go into the cave. If Anne is outside, keep the flower for her, otherwise it goes to the sprite. Ignore the sprite and head into the small alcove behind him. Normally, gifts only increase NPC affection once per day, but there are several exceptions, usually due to coding errors. The meat dialogue is only checked with the sprite outside, so we can give items to this sprite immediately. 
The game considers the sprites to be separate NPCs, but they share a single affection value. They're the only NPCs that gain affection from Lumber, and this one will accept multiple gifts per day until the affection value is 21. When you're out of Lumber, talk to the sprite outside twice, and then give him the herb that's next to him. Get the two clovers near the top, and then exit the cave. There's a chance that Anne will be out here, so meet Talk and give her a gift if she is, then get the berry near the top, and head to the goddess pond. Watering this flower activates a glitch to get Potpourri's photo, but I'll go into more detail about that in a few minutes. For now, chop the stump, gather the clover, and as many flowers as you can before heading into town. The first stop is for Ellie at the bakery. We've already met her, so we don't have to talk to her before giving her a gift. Next, look for the mayor outside the church. Meet and talk to him if he's there, but there's a chance that he's outside the library instead. Enter Rick's shop and talk to him twice to clear the meat dialogue before giving him a flower. If Anne is here, talk to her twice as well, but save the last flower for Maria. Maria is inside the library, so talk to her twice and give her your last flower. If the mayor wasn't outside the church, he's here outside the library. The reason we're giving gifts to the mayor is that one of the photos requires 10 villagers to attend the evaluation party. This means that their affection value must be 160 or greater by the end of the third spring. Three of these are the girls that need affection values for their photos anyway. Popery is the exception, and your wife doesn't count toward the party 10. Four NPCs have spams that allow us to max out their affection quickly. Rick gains three affection each time he fixes a music box, and it adds up quickly when we're giving them to three different girls. Rick and the mayor have the same meet, talk, and gift affections, and all of his locations are close to our gifting route anyway. The last one is player's choice between the bachelors. Cliff and Kai both have large affection boosts for their favorite items, and Jeff has a unique glitch if you can find him at the bar. Personally, I like Cliff because he doesn't show up until later, and it's one less thing to keep track of during the start of the game. If your party list includes Kai, don't visit him just yet, because you might find him at the bar later. Back on the farm, sell some items to make space, and then go out to the mountains. This is another location you may find Anne. Grab the edible herb, berry, and flower, and then go fishing. You want to get as many fish as you can before dark, but it's okay if you end up staying a bit later. The bar opens at 6 o'clock, so meet, talk, and give a gift to the bartender. We'll need to visit him four more times before he'll give us the doorway to heaven, an item needed for Karen's photo. You can sell an item on the way home, but it will be added to the next day's shipment. The route for Spring 5th is similar to the day before. First, equip the watering can and water the potatoes. If you only caught one fish, empty your bag into the shipping bin here. If your bag has more items, use the one in the coop where the load time is faster. Fill the watering can, get six lumber, and head to the mountains. Give six lumber to the sprite inside the cave, bringing him to 21 affection. Make sure to talk to the sprite inside before the one outside, or the spam will max out before you can gift all the lumber. Gather the clovers and berry, then go to the goddess pond for flowers. The rest of the day plays out like the day before. Talk and give a gift to Ellie, Rick, and Maria. If you sold a fish yesterday, you can afford to give an edible herb to the mayor. Sell items to make space, and then forage by the tent and go fishing. Get to the bar as close to dark as possible, and then talk and give a gift to Duke. Spring 6 is a Saturday. Rick only has a 50% chance to appear on Saturdays, but we need to forage today or we can't afford a chicken tomorrow. No lumber is needed today, so water the potatoes, sell what you have, and head straight to the mountains. If your money is 1100 or greater, save a large fish for Kappa. Anytime after 9 o'clock, throw a large fish into the pond. Kappa will appear and give you one of six required power berries. If you have less than 1100, you can always get this berry later, so don't sacrifice a large fish if you need the money. The sprite spam is maxed out, so this time you only need to gift the outside sprite before gathering the two clovers. After picking the berry, enter the goddess pond, but immediately leave and re-enter. Remember watering the flower here on Spring 4th? The game only checks that you've watered a growable plant on the screen, not for the bloomest flower specifically. The Moondrop flower is always grown, so once marked, a new event is triggered each time you enter this screen. You can get Potpourri's photo by talking to her during the third event. 
Be careful not to talk to her while holding an item, or the game will freeze up as the photo is taken. There are actually quite a few interesting things you can do with this glitch, but that's a video for another time. Back in town, NPC locations are a bit different. Ellie is still in the bakery, but Rick is standing outside if he appears at all. The mayor will either be here or with Maria in the library. On Saturdays, May is outside the midwife's house until 3 p.m., or if it's raining, she'll be in the library. May is easily the fastest family party member. The one talk per day rule doesn't apply to her, and she could be maxed out in just over 30 seconds. At 3 points per talk, 52 will bring her to the party minimum, and 82 will max out her infection entirely. Sell everything you have, because tomorrow is chicken day. Forge by the tent and fish if you have time, as long as you're ready to enter the bar at 6 p.m. Give a gift and talk to Duke one more time before ending the day. You can clear Karen's meat dialogue if you want, but you don't have to just yet. On Spring 7, ignore the mayor and head to the mountains. Grab the edible herb, berry, and flower, and then head straight to the ranch. Harvest Moon 64 uses two types of dialogue boxes, scrolling character and instant text. Spoken dialogue is usually swirling, while signs and short descriptions tend to be instant. This value is usually updated after pressing A, but before the box physically appears. If the value isn't updated, the game will use whatever value was last stored in memory. If you get to the ranch before 8 o'clock, attempting to open this door will cause a dialogue box to appear, setting the box type to instant text. Close the box and enter the field to trigger the horse cutscene. Because we don't interact with anything, the value doesn't update, causing all dialogue to display instantly until the value is updated on the naming screen. When the cutscene ends, go into the shop. If the timing was right, it should be open by the time you get there. Buy a chicken and as much feed as you can afford, up to 10. Head back to the farm, but make sure you aren't holding anything. The naming screen for the chicken will cause any held items to disappear. Whistle and talk to your new horse on the way to the coop. Sell anything left in your bag and bring the chicken up to the house. Be aware of where the horse is running, because he can easily get stuck in the field. There's no way to directly influence where he is until he's old enough to ride. Everything is closed for the planning festival, so whistle and talk to your horse, pocket the egg, and then end the day. Individual routes begin diverging around Spring 9 and 10, mostly due to weather RNG. In this section, our goal is to grind the affection route as quickly and efficiently as we can. Rick is necessary for the music box route, so sleep through the days he may not appear. This includes Wednesdays, weekends, and rainy days. To sleep through a day, whistle for your horse and for the dog, and then briefly pick him up and drop him before going back to sleep. If affections are still low midsummer, we may play select Saturdays, but there's no way to know how much bad weather you'll get, so don't worry about it just yet. On Spring 9th, equip the fishing rod. This is the only tool that doesn't use stamina, and we need a full meter to get a power berry today. Incubate today's egg, but keep the other one in your bag and head to the mountains. If you haven't given a large fish to Cappy yet, you have time to attempt a quick catch before visiting the cave. Talk and give a gift to the sprite, but foraging is optional. Our main goal today is to get a power berry from the goddess. Eat a berry if you think you might have used a tool, and then toss an egg into the pond to summon the goddess. Select the middle option for strength. Normally this wish refills your stamina meter, but if it's already full, you'll get a power berry instead. We want to do this in the short window after the blue mist glitch, but before Rick's affection is high enough to fix music boxes. Grab a bag full of flowers and do the gift run through town. Instead of fishing after visiting Maria, go straight to sleep. Once we have the strength berry, the morning route changes. If you don't have a music box, clear a path and dig one up, or water the potatoes if they aren't fully grown. On spring 12th, incubate another egg and bring the chick up to the house. When you're not incubating, give your egg to Ellie. She earns extra affection from eggs because they're her favorite gift. When gathering gifts, only get the herb, berry, and flower before going into town. Give one gift to Rick until he fixes the music box, then start giving it to the mayor instead. When you enter Rick's shop, pay attention to his location. If he's standing still in the center, talking to him will trigger a cutscene. He won't accept gifts until you leave and re-enter. When you have at least 600G, buy a brush. 
equip it and brush the horse before ending each day. The third gift and any fixed music boxes go to Maria, unless it's a Monday. On Mondays, both Ellie and Maria will be away from their usual locations. You may see them by the tent in the mountains, but don't expect to. If Maria is outside the church, talk to her before visiting Rick, because on Mondays, music boxes go to Anne. Mondays are an important day to remember for chicken cycling. On spring 15th, Basil appears outside the farm. This marks the day that a new chick is born. Incubate an egg and name the new chick, but leave him in the coop. From this day on, a new chicken will be ready to sell every Monday. After visiting Rick and the mayor on a Monday, take a left and go to the ranch. Bring a fixed music box and a potato to Anne before entering the shop. Tell Doug that you're selling a chicken and return to your farm. Name the new chick, incubate an egg, and then select the grown chicken to sell. You'll be warped to the top of your farm, 500g richer, ready to end the day. The horse race is on Spring 17. There's no benefit for attending, and all the shops are closed. The next day you leave the house, Cliff will be waiting outside. If he's one of your party members, give him an edible gift before leaving the screen. This counts as his meat affection, though you still have to clear his meat dialogue later. If you see Cliff by the tent on Fridays, talk to him and give him an egg, but don't worry about him too much just yet. If he's not on your party list, it's better not to talk to him at all. Continue the affection grind until the flower festival on Spring 23rd. The girls won't appear for 34 seconds, so talk to Rick for two points of affection. One of the girls will be elected goddess, but you can dance with any of the other four. Talking to the bachelorettes and saying no will add two affection each. Agreeing to dance will add ten more affection. A short cutscene will play, providing a quick bathroom break if you need it. After the flower festival, check the weather. If the 25th is rainy, you'll have to reset if you want the lucky bracelet. If the 25th is sunny, bring your dog to the vineyard. On Thursdays, Karen is outside the wine cellar after 10 a.m. If the dog's affection is low enough, talking to Karen while holding him will cause her affection to increase by one point per talk. When the heart in her dialogue box turns yellow, talk to her five more times before returning to the ranch. When you enter the farm screen, you'll get the lucky bracelet. You don't need to actually talk to Karen to get it. If you plan on using her dream glitch later, give her some rocks or weeds to lower her affection. The dream event for each bachelorette is triggered the first night her affection is 160 or greater. Text will scroll describing a dream involving that girl. The dream glitch occurs when you get the sleeping dream event after your character has stayed up all night. Both events will advance the day independently, causing the day to increase by two instead of just one, effectively skipping an entire day. On the first day of each month, all crops for the season before it dry up and wither. However, if that day is skipped, crops will stay alive until the end of that season next year. In my opinion, Summer Year 1 is where the record is won or lost. An hour into the run, it's easy to lose focus and switch to muscle memory, but that could be a dangerous thing during Typhoon season. The chickens will provide daily gifts for Ellie and Cliff. More chickens will give more eggs, but it takes more time to track them down when they decide to wander. Two to three chickens can replace foraging, but make sure to check the weather channel daily. A surprise Typhoon can easily take out both your chicken empire and Anne's affection. The summer season can roughly be split into three sections. From the 1st to the 10th, the library is closed, so bring the music boxes and potatoes to Anne. When the potatoes run out, the library reopens, and music boxes go back to Maria until the corn grows in. When Maria is on the edge of a green and yellow heart, bring the music boxes and corn to Anne. Corn is renewable and will cycle every four days, so you only have to water four of the plots to have a gift every day. The first day of summer is the fireworks festival, but all the shops will remain open.
On a normal day, you will have time for two morning activities before NPCs are available. These include foraging, digging a music box, watering corn, cycling chickens, and filling up the watering can. In a week of perfect weather, Rick fixes a music box dug up on Thursday. On Friday, we give it to Anne, then Rick fixes the broken box dug up that morning. On Monday, Anne gets the music box fixed on Friday, and then we visit the beach and find Ellie. Tuesday is the same, but it's Cliff who's on the beach. On Wednesday, both Anne and Cliff are on the ranch, but Rick is closed until Thursday when the cycle repeats. If you get to a shop before it opens, equip the hammer and use it while you're waiting. The hammer upgrades every 100 swings, and you'll need to upgrade it twice to get a power berry during winter. As the season progresses, you can estimate a bachelorette's affection by the color of the heart in their dialogue box. A white heart means 0 to 51 affection. A blue heart is 52 to 103. A green heart is 104 to 155. A yellow heart is 156 to 207. And a pink heart is 208 to 255. Only the bachelorettes have hearts in their dialogue box, but there are other ways to estimate an NPC's affections. When Cliff is at 30 affection, he'll show up and give you a medium fish. The Sea Festival on Summer 24 offers a welcome escape from the monotony. Winning this one is a bit trickier than it first appears. Simply mashing A as fast as you can isn't going to cut it. There's a very specific rhythm to the mashing, somewhere close to 250 beats per minute. Jack speed is related to how far off your timing is, rather than how rapidly you press the button. Fall marks more or less the end of the affection round. I try to be done with affections before the harvest festival, but there's plenty of time after to finish it off. Ellie, Anne, and Maria should all have green, if not yellow, hearts. However, it's extremely important to keep Marie's affection below 160. If Duke hasn't given you the wine, visit the bar on fall 1st, 2nd, and 5th until you get it. Grapes are his favorite gift, but fall 5th is the last day he'll give you the wine, and he never gives it if it's raining. However, rainy days can be used for sick events. On days that you visit Duke, talk and give a gift to the sprites as well. Ignore Anne if she's crouched outside the cave, or you'll be sitting through a long and somewhat useless cutscene. The first time you give the sprites a mushroom, you'll get a recipe and plus three affection. They'll eventually bring up the wine, causing a new option to appear when you summon the goddess. You must have the wine in your inventory, and the sprites must have at least 50 affection the first time you talk to them that day. In the Japanese version, look for the pitchfork symbol near the end of the second dialogue box. Throw a crapper egg into the goddess pond, and pick the only option available. A short cutscene will play, and the day will end early. You must restore the vineyard by the end of Fall 6. Clear the coop and place one last egg in the incubator. We won't hatch this chicken until spring of year 3. Don't save when you sleep on Fall 5th, and check the weather first thing in the morning. If the weather tomorrow is bad, you'll have to reset, because you can't get the photo in the rain. Karen's photo is at 6 p.m. on Fall 7th. When you finish your normal gift run through town, hammer the rocks on the perimeter of your farm until dark. At 6 p.m., Karen will show up on the farm. Talk to her to do her photo event. On Fall 8th, check the weather again. If Fall 9th is rainy, you'll have to reset all the way back to the 6th. Ellie's photo is at 6 p.m. on Fall 9th. Run gifts through town and clear the farm until dark. When Ellie shows up, talk to her and follow her to the mountain for her photo event. On Fall 11th, whistle and pick up the dog, and then sleep without saving. The Harvest Festival is on Fall 12th, but the winner is chosen the night before. If you save the game on Fall 11th, the winner will be permanent. After 34 seconds, Ellie appears. If you don't get the coin, you'll have to reset. When you do get it, talk to Ellie and Cliff, but dance with Anne. If you still haven't dug up the farmberry, it's possible to dig it up while planting grass, but don't expect to. My personal rule is to reset if the farmberry hasn't shown, because I know how it feels to have that world record run slowly die when that last powerberry just refuses to show.